everyone welcome to ms siddhi standard institutions youtube channel today we are going to learn about fan coil unit as the name itself fcu will be having three components one is the fan second is the coil third is the filter fcus are used for small spaces such as apartments to bhk flat one bhk flat whereas air handling units are used to circulate the air in large spaces Large spaces, as in banquet halls, as in uh, multiplex, understanding screen one, screen two, you will be going there, okay, and even at seminar hall. So for huge large space to circulate the airflow, the device which we use is AHU. For small spaces, the device or indoor unit required is called as FCU. FCU has three components. Majorly, one is fan. You will be having two sets or two assembly of fan within a box. Okay, and a coil and a filter. You, you may even have two different coils. One is for boiling and one is for cooling. Let's see the scenario now. Okay, so in this scenario, I have taken two space, space one and space two. In space one, the amount of CFM. What is CFM? It is the unit of air cubic feet per minute. Uh, cubic feet per minute. Fine. Here in space one, thousand CFM is the supply air. Whereas for space two, the calculated supply supply air is five hundred CFM. Okay, which has been provided by your fan coil unit. Your fan coil unit has a filter section, a coil section, a blower section. When this blower starts working. it sucks the return air from space 1 and space 2 you can watch here return air is going via return diffuser to return air plenum of fcu here in space 1 and space 2 as the blower starts it sucks the air from your space 1 and space 2 via return diffuser return diffuser to you are return plenum of your fcu fine while the return air is going from the return diffusers of both the spaces only 90% air will be taken not 100% why to maintain the positive pressure at the working space we have to maintain the positive pressure so the supply air will be more and the return air will be less compared to supply to maintain positive pressure Okay, so this return air of a rated temperature of let's imagine let's consider as twenty six to twenty seven degrees Celsius, whereas supply air temperature is twenty two. Now the air got heated up due to internal and external factors which are increasing the temperature of air. Okay, so this return air is striking to your return air plenum. From return air plenum to filter, the air return is getting filtered from dust and bacterial, okay, contaminations. So this filtered return air of 26 degrees Celsius, let's imagine, has to be cooled or heated. If we want to cool, definitely this valve assembly will get open. It that means the cooling valve gets open, and from the chiller we will be getting six degree chilled water. If we want to heat this space. the chiller will be off and the boiler section gets on and the high or high temperature water will enter into the coil but in this scenario i am going to explain you with the help of chilled water so i am turning on my chiller and i'll turn off the boiler valve assembly okay over here i am opening chiller so as i am opening the chiller valve assembly so the chilled water of 6 degree celsius is entering into the cooling coil from here 26 degree celsius return air striking the coil coil is chilled return air is of 26 degree celsius that means return air is higher body temperature so it will reject its heat to the chilled coil due to that this return air will get converted or get what can i say due to decrease in heat it will uh, reduce its temperature from 26 degree celsius to 22 degree celsius conditioned air this conditioned air is again given back to as a supply air to your space one and to your space two this supply air 
FCU, this FCU is of capacity 1500 CFM. This 1500 CFM blower will blow the air at a rate of 1500 CFM from your discharge plenum box. What is discharge plenum box? Discharge plenum box is used for proper circulation of air without any frictional loss. Okay, and such that the mouth of fan blower and the mouth of duct should be equally arranged properly and the air which has been sent for by your blower should be equally circulated or properly circulated to space 1 and space 2. For that we are providing a discharge plenum box. Efficiently flow of air will be conducted if we are attaching this discharge plenum box. Fine, we are further moving. So, that now what can I say? Supply here CFM is 1500 CFM. This space is large. It has why the calculated CFM of this space is 1000 CFM, which is being supplied by the FCU. And it is being controlled by volume control damper. Why we are using dampers to control the flow rate of air? The amount of air required, that much amount of air will be given to the space, and the remaining air will be given to the further section of duct. Again, to this section, we need 500 CFM. Again, we kept a VCD volume control damper. It is sending the 500 CFM air to space 2. So, to space 1 and to space 2, we have given supply air. Okay, with this, what will happen? The room temperature will be maintained at a temperature of 22 degree Celsius. Fine, this section I have completed. One more important thing over here, you can see for supply, I am providing ducting. For return, I am not providing ducting. Why? Already and wall opening is being given. So the return air definitely will travel from return diffuser, from return diffuser to wall opening. From wall opening, from here also a return diffuser, they go both get mixed and they will be entering into the return air plenum box. And again from here to filter, filter to coil, coil to blower, again to space. Understanding. So wherever there is a wall opening available to you. We don't need to, what can I say, provide extra return air duction. Not required, not required. Understanding? If at all, there is no provision for wall opening at that particular area, we have to provide return duct also. Okay, that has been dealt, right? What else is missing? Here, one more important thing. FFL, finish to floor level, fall ceiling level. The height, general height, from finish to floor level to fall ceiling level is 9 feet. Okay, and from fall ceiling level to your sub foot of so feet of slab level, the height is of 3 feet. Understanding, guys? Okay, so this, uh, this is it uh, about your fan. And one more important thing let's talk about the installation part of FCU. See here, this is your FCU box, okay, which has been directly installed via threaded rods from attached to your slab with the help of expansion bolt expansion bolt and you see on your threaded rods you are even providing vibration isolator why to provide vibration isolator to minimize the vibration of fcu why the fcu is vibrating because fcu has two blower sections two blower sets blower is directly connected to motor any rotating part gives you friction to avoid or minimize the friction or vibration we are using vibration isolators over here understanding and what else? Over here also you will be getting support for your ducting also. Anchor fissure, threaded rod support. Anchor fissure, threaded rod support, channel support. Understanding? After again some uh, 7 feet, you will be again have to give a support. Anchor fissure, threaded rod, channel support. Understanding all of you? So what else is there? I hope I have explained the concept clearly to every one of you and I, I think I am not missing any point within the drawing what I have drawn over here. So remember one thing, fan coil unit has three components, one fan, coil, filter. Why it is being used? It's general if I am talking about it, it's an indoor unit. Okay, then where to provide FCU and where to provide AHU? FCU, small spaces, apartments, especially. 2 BHK apartment, 1 BHK apartment, 3 BHK apartment. Why? The CFM rate is less for FCU. Max CFM you can take, you can get in general is 3000 and not beyond 5TR capacity. Okay. Whereas for huge large spaces, 
as in theatres, as in multiplexes, as in seminar halls, as in banquet halls, there you have to provide air handling units because it's a huge space. Why air handling units? You will be getting air handling units about 25 TR capacity. Understanding? And it has a huge CFM. Understand? Beyond the range of FCUs. So instead of applying a number of FCUs, you can give AHU. So this is all about one more important thing. Over here you can see when our return air is striking the coil, condensation takes place. Means over here droplets of water will get accommodated onto the condensate pan. So this water has to be given to the flow drain, flow drain. So that's why we have given a condensate pipe. From this condensate pipe, this pipe will be attached to your floor drain. Whatever the water is getting condensed water is there, that will be given to the drain of your floor. Okay, that's all about your fan coil unit. Hope you all understood this session properly. Do like, subscribe and share our YouTube channel. It motivates us to bring you with new more technical videos. Thanking you all.